I've discussed before that the BA Kratky model of hydroponics is very simple to use. These 18-gallon red totes, for example, have all the nutrients that these peppers should use over the course of the season. Not everyone has room in their yard or on their deck for such large containers. B.A. Kratke did propose an alternative model of his hydroponic method that would come into play that might be helpful for people who do not want to have large containers. And that would be the one that uses a reservoir, such as this 32-gallon trash can, with a grommet, hose barb, and half-inch line that runs to this much smaller controller bucket. It goes into the bucket where a float valve controls the level of nutrient which feeds out through a second line to a series of buckets. Tomatoes are notorious for using a lot of nutrient. However, each of these tomato plants are growing in a five gallon bucket. You can see that they're doing quite nicely. The Sun Gold tomato plant and the Fourth of July uh, tomato plant have produced quite a number of tomatoes and continue to do so. Now it's August in Zone 5A. I can switch this over and use the same system for peppers or most other plants. Here's a quick look inside the controller bucket. You can see the carrot half inch uh, float valve which is maintaining the nutrient level inside this bucket. The fittings that I use are available from Amazon.com. The half inch rubber grommet, the half inch hose barb, and for locally sourced items such as this tubing, it is simply a half inch pond tube that's available from most retailers who sell pond supplies. You can tell that the flexibility lends itself quite nicely to hydroponics. With an appropriate size reservoir, I could connect a number of buckets to the system. With the three five gallon tomato buckets that I have, I'm using approximately 64 gallons of nutrients throughout the summer season. With an extended number of buckets, it would still be easy to maintain this reservoir supply, intermittently filling it up and adding additional nutrient. 